Hello, my dear friends. I am Dr. Zemin Ray, Department of Physics, Uka Karsadiya University, Bardur, Gujarat. In this video, today we are going to discuss about the electromagnetic waves, chapter number 9 from the book of Introduction to Electrodynamics by David J. Griffith. I had prepared some lecture notes in the form of PowerPoint presentation for the ease of understanding the topics. Let's start with the first topic. There is 9.1 wave in one dimension. We are majorly focused on electromagnetic waves in this whole chapter. Now, how you define a wave? A wave, an oscillation of a string or a waves of a sea or a sound that we can hear. How? How we can define a wave? In all the examples, something repeats with a time, some phenomena will repeat with a time and with some or varying intensity. That intensity is generated by some force. In other words, we can say that some force will disturb the medium and it generates a pattern. That pattern will create it. And that pattern we can call a wave. So, in the definition of wave, we can say that a wave is an disturbance of a continuous medium that propagates with a fixed shape at a constant velocity. Again, focused on fixed shape and constant velocity. A fixed shape at a constant velocity shows it must be a periodic as shown in figure below some function will repeat some function will repeat at particular time so in case of wave we have a four points first one is in the presence of absorption that means in presence of absorbing medium the wave will diminish in size as it moves. Second point, in the medium, if the medium is dispersive, different frequencies travel at a different speed. That is but obvious. Third one is standing waves do not propagate. For example, sound waves, mechanical waves do not propagate. And last one, light wave can propagate in a vacuum. For light wave can propagate in a vacuum, there are lots of explanation available in the literature. I will try to explain it again by referring to the force Maxwell equation that is uh, available in the earlier chapter of this Griffith book. And uh, by referring that force Maxwell equation and from the wave equation of the electric and magnetic field Anyone can conclude that the spatial variation of the electric field is always accomplished with a time varying of magnetic field. And that spatial variation of the magnetic field is always accomplished with a time varying electric field. These variations in electric and magnetic field lead to transfer the energy which is carried by the electromagnetic waves. Therefore, electromagnetic waves will constantly propagate with non-stopping until it meets an obstacle or a barrier. So, light wave can propagate in a vacuum. Now, the second question is how we can represent a wave mathematically? In this regard, I have uploaded two questions in my Google Classroom. So before that, let us discuss the mathematical representation of a wave. Here one example, there is a uh, explain the wave in mathematical form. So the wave in a different two times, at t is equal to zero and again some after later time t in each point the waveform simply shift to the right 
by an amount of v into t where v is the velocity. For initial step at the propagation direction z is z at time is equal to 0 suppose that at function is g z at subsequent form after some time t that function how that waves can be represent that is the question mark. So f of z t is equal to f of z minus v t into at time t is equal to 0 is equal to g z minus v into t. The function f of z into t depends on them only in a very spatial combination of z minus v t. When it is true the function f of z t represents a wave of a fixed shape traveling into the z direction at the velocity of v. So again in this regard I have uploaded two questions in my google classroom. Now try yourself to understand this topic carefully. Understand all the phenomena carefully and you can solve that those question if you have query please do comment on google classroom questions answer so you all try to solve it and also uploaded the other relevant material also best of luck thank you